dream but I can't deny nah, nah, nah. I can't deny nah, 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 you I can't deny nah, nah, nah. I can't deny nah, 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 you to throw my game not really why I came oh do me a favor pour me another glass pour hearts to never last oh save me I'm a wild one getting bored out looking for attention I'm not looking to me no friend no I 
We are a group of ultimate players, coaches and video enthusiasts. We've worked with the major federations and the greatest events. We're on a mission to make Ultimate huge. We want our videos and live streams to be free to watch. We want to make stories that not only reach you, but also reach people outside the Ultimate community. Like and subscribe, Ultimate TV, the best in the world. Become a member and, and fund, fund our, our work, work to cover more events in the future and to bring more stories and live coverage to the eyes of the Ultimate world and, and beyond. beyond. We are Hive Ultimate, a group of players and coaches from all over the world working together to progress the next generation of Ultimate strategy. We've helped top teams win world championships and new teams introduce the sport in a fun and inclusive way. Search for Hive Ultimate on YouTube to learn more about our cutting edge strategies and to see analysis of world-class teams. To find out what Hive can do for your team, head over to our Patreon page where you can gain access to our exclusive drills and session plans and to join our worldwide community of coaches. Get ahead of the curve with Hive Ultimate. Enjoying the show? Show your support for the live stream and the people making the show. Buy a super chat or super sticker on YouTube directly. Select your donation and type your message to the world. And share. All donations go into directly funding new shows. Buy a super sticker or super chat now. Thank you. The ultimate things in life are free, and we're keeping it that way. Subscribe to keep up with the latest games, tournaments, and community content. Share it with your team and friends, and drop a like to help spread ultimate to more people. Spread the word, spread the love. Ultimate. We believe mixed is the best for the sport, for the world. That's why we're making a global showcase, starting in Europe, made in Amsterdam. Ultimeek. Ultimeek.net. Help us call Electric, become a member. All right. A little something special for the WGGGGGMBCC. The lyrical sculpture in the sand that I carve. This is Flash on the mic, now on the Algarve. 
from 40 to 60, we are on the attack. If I can just get some vitamin I from my back, foot on the line, yeah, I'm ready to go. Or did I just pull a muscle? Hold on for a moment, play it cool. Just act like I'm young, got flicks on my wrist and lyrics on my tongue. 20 more, 10 more years left to go. Tricks from the past and a buttery flow. A little slow off the start, I like to call my speed brisk. The sunshine glints off my slow moving disc. You know how it goes with the sand between my toes. I got none of the pivots, but all the throws. Yeah, I got some dodgy knees. Disc in my hand and the sun in the sky. My dad bod goes jiggle and my hucks they fly. The spirits are rising like a disc on the breeze. Going miles out of bounds to the Portuguese seas. I played a point, yeah, I need a sub. And a good long soak in an XL tub. Don't need to run anymore, I'm one of 14 handlers. Happy Gilmore this disc like we're all Adam Sandlers. I'm slow off the start. I like to call it brisk. The sunshine glints on my slow moving disc. You know how it goes with the sand between my toes. We got none of the pivots, but all the throws. Alright, let's finish this off. My six foot two still works in the bar. I can see for miles. Got drinks on my radar. Porta Mile party is the place we flee for the friends we see and these great memories. Yeah, I feel the spirit as I pull every sinew. Shatter my knees, yet we're gonna continue. Take this hand, better yet carry me from the beach to the bar, better yet to the sea. I'm slow off the start, I like to call my speed brisk. The sunshine glints off my slow moving disc. You know how it goes with the sand between our toes. We got none of the pivots, but all of the throws. Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to Portimao. It, the weather's turned ever so slightly, not quite as warm as we had for EBUCC, but we're still on the beach, loving life, and it's time to kick off the WGGGGMBUCC, as I think Flash told us. It's the World Great Grandmasters Beach Ultimate Club Championships, and we're kicking off game one here with Sweden's Rainbow Warriors up against Beers from Japan. It's Benji Reese in the booth, delighted to be joined by Hannah Pendlebury. Yeah, we are very pleased to be here, but the number one factor from today, Benji, as we were walking out of our accommodation, the lovely apartments here in Playa de Rocha, it's the wind has come back. It's certainly something that these players will, uh, you imagine, be experienced at dealing with. And actually there, Anderson finds an option into the end zone, but I think that one might go back on a pick. Yeah, Anderson, who's actually played the European Beach Ultimate Club Championships, but a few days ago and uh, snagged herself a gold medal alongside some of her teammates on this loose mixed division team from the Swede side. Largely made up of uh, SE6 players. So the reset towards the near side. Looking for options, has to take the reset back to Anderson. Sliding grab made there by Martin Hyby. Trying to find it into the end zone, and that is kept alive superbly by Albin. Uh, I've been told how to pronounce Swedish names. Uh, Weber. Weberi. Just get it straight wide. Weberi for the score. Yeah, kids catch us off guard sometimes to these Swedish names. But uh, a nice bit of flow twice. They had to do it a second time, did the, the Swedish side. And I love these kits, of course. True to the name, Rainbow Warriors. And despite the fact that they've got like almost like a PowerPoint-esque fade on those numbers on the back of their jerseys, Benji, very easy to read still. Very legible against the blue, yeah, and they've got the white outlining. I like them. I think they are a very strong look. Indeed. Well, we'll have to bring you our opinions later on in the tournament as to who has exactly the best kit this fine morning. But it would be nice to see the Japanese coming out and showing us what they can do on offense. They, are, they have some suspiciously un-Japanese names amongst their roster. I, I don't know what you're on about. Maybe I slightly know what you're on about. <laughs> well, we can see all of them, Benji. But it's obviously fantastic to see them representing here. A little bit further afield, but of yeah. course they play in the... Uh... Yeah, I didn't see a Japanese team at the last championships a year ago in, uh, in Villa Simius, Sardinia. Beers now on offense, trying to get that high release to float it downwind. But that one's a little too strong. Well, not as sweet and smooth as the Swedish first shot of offense. And uh, it's going to be some 
medium octane frisbee to get us started with. But I have to say, Benji, walking across the pitches to get to our commentary booth this morning, there are some very rapid 45 and 48 year olds. Yes, you were you were not with us last year for uh, for the previous edition, and I must say we had a wonderful week out in Italy, and uh, yeah, very excited to be to be back with it today. Carolina Hybe, Viveri goes back to Orland. Orland nice little find through, and Carolina Hybe. Oh, that's not quite going to be in the end zone. Kindergren wanted to jump it in, but wasn't successful in doing so. Can he find an option? It's the reset. Matson Faking once. Might have to go backwards again here. Orland, nice red zone stand here. But Orland, can he find it into the end zone? Not on this occasion. Yeah, a little bit clustery there from the Swedes in the end zone. They sort of were hanging around the disc, which meant that whilst they did have some cutters free, they couldn't hit any of them because of the, just the sheer traffic in front of the thrower. Yeah, I think maybe then uh, more, more prevalently in this division than some of the younger divisions, timing is everything. I say that like they're not five times fitter like I, than I am. Well, that's why you play Ultimate Kids. Great way to stay in shape. Rather than just talking about it, which is what we do. So still swinging in the shadow of their own end zone at the moment, the beers. There's the deep shot. They were looking to try and get Yamamoto, but that's not going to connect. The shot from Noda overthrown. Yeah, pretty sure that was a fairly high stall option. The pressure from the Swedish side, difficult to overcome. Been very impressed with the, uh, with the defense actually so far of the Rainbow Warriors is Matson. Well, as you say, it's all about timing and conserving energy. And at the moment, the Swedes are in themselves being pinned down, but a big shot going deep. Matson feels like he's got Kindergren going behind the defense and he has that connection. Instant dish off here to Orland. Orland looking towards the break side, still not in the end zone just yet. Jakob Vibori. Oh, just off the hands. Kindgren nearly made the deep pressure pay, but it just bounces out of there. Well, and after some very smooth, very nice offense to begin us off in that first point for Rainbow Warriors, things looking a little bit messier now. Very close to getting the goal, but that's a beautiful round break to get beers started. Here's the deep shot, and it's overthrown. Again, they haven't really found the range. On those deep shots so far, the beers. Toru Yajima with yeah. the turnover. Trying to hit Richard Dorr from the deep space, but as you can see from the flags on the screen behind this lovely arena field, with all of the nations represented here at the World Championships, that wind is pretty fierce out there. So shooting downwind, you really have to hold on to the disc for way longer than you expect. Yeah, so 10 countries entering teams into this event. Canada, Switzerland, Germany, Finland, France, Great Britain, Japan, who we've got here, of course, Sweden, also in this matchup, as there's a deep shot looking for Kindgren, and the layout secures it as well. Again, another chance for a red zone score. Complete miscommunication, looking for Paul Madsen. And you can see the difference there, the wind really helping the pass sit in the air for Kindgren to run down. So as well as those eight, there is the United States and the great nation of Courier Island has mysteriously reappeared. Oh, well, they had mysterious beginnings, Benji. We'll talk a bit more about those, though, as we see a short field for the Swedes. Sneaking through the hands there of Kubo. Into the end zone, still not quite in. Orland will eventually find the target. And that took a, uh, took a fair old while, but they got there in the end. Yeah, I thought for half a beat that he was going to look off the absolutely miles open receiver in the end zone. There's a little bit of moment while the, the circuitry in the brain connected. This, of course, being the first game of the tournament. And we're very delighted to get things cracking. Yeah, it's a nice forgiving schedule, I'll say, for those of you not familiar. 
two morning games, 9.30 and 11 o'clock, two afternoon games, 3.30 and 5. So a nice long lunch break to uh, enjoy the festivities here on the Praia de Rocha. Uh, in something else as well is that each team plays one game in the morning and one game in the afternoon, so it's not that you play back-to-back -back games. So oh. it's, 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 yeah, it's a very friendly schedule for us here in the booth as well. And it's not even a proper back-to-back. -back. There's a nice bit of sort of daylight between the games themselves. First slot starting at half past nine local time, second at 11. Yeah, and 45 minute games. That means you get a little bit of a breather in between the action to go and make yourself a cup of tea or maybe something a bit more festive. Well, I have to say, from my experience, playing the Beach European Championships, which had not Grand Grandmasters, but a Masters division, certainly, back in 2013, these uh, Masters teams do like a good beachside beer. So that one is really pumped out of the sideline by Albin Vibri. Yeah, Rainer Podolski looking there, sort of just hovering around the same sort of three metres of the field. Here's the high release backhand trying to sit that one down the wind. That was a perfect throw there from Anderson. Cannot do it any better than that. Sitting it beautifully on there to Martin Hayabi for the goal. Yeah, you can tell that Anderson has been uh, playing on the beach a little while and had a nice warm up, as we say, in that European Championship gold that she won a few days ago. She uh, doesn't know if she's hit her peak yet. She's been playing for over 30 years. <laughs> So and I love it. Nearly as long as I've been alive, Benji. It might, depending on depending on the exact specifics, it might well be longer than I have been alive. And I love that. This is honestly, I think uh, people think sometimes think we're a little bit sniffy or sarcastic about it. No, we genuinely, I genuinely love being out oh, here yeah. because. You know, it's not necessarily about the accolades. It's people doing it for the love of the game. Well, and, and Swedish Ultimate has had an extremely long history. Their uh, federation was set up in 1974, would you believe it? And they hosted their first official world championship in the 80s. I think 83, if my memory is correct. Uh, I, I back you on that. Uh, interestingly, I think this was probably written maybe before EBUCC, because if it was, I wonder if the E6 victory for Harry Anderson might go up there as a a highlight. Oh, well, definitely be a highlight, just whether or not she's reached her peak yet. That is true. And that one, all the turnover just bounces off the hands there of Cho. Looking for the quick pick up again is Anderson. And finding it into the end zone for the score. And lots of these uh, Rainbow Warriors players, of course, having represented one of the most famous clubs coming out of Sweden, which is, of course, Skogsidem, or Skogs, as they were just affectionately known in the European scene. I uh, heard some of their male matching players, Benji, decided to uh, retreat and start just playing golf instead, inviting the Clapham boys who were a lot younger because they used to clash with them quite often yep, to uh, just meet them on the green instead. Actual golf or frisbee golf? Actual golf. Like legit hitting things with a stick, which of course the Algarve is renowned for. When you land at Faro Airport, you can see there is a golf club hire station, just in case yours have got lost in transit by the uh, luggage handlers. Yeah, and there are frequent signs dotted around the roads to golf. Have you uh, done any disc golfing yourself? Uh, only only casually around around the clump where I used to play, but nothing with an actual proper disc golf set in a basket. Oh, I didn't take the opportunity during COVID like many players did. No, it would require having friends to play with, I think. Underneath, oh, just a little bit behind Kubo and he couldn't make the catch. And a shout out to our patrons, cost keeping free, ultimate free to watch. Kindgren into the backfield to Matson, looking very calm and solid at the back are oh, the Swedes. Orland, Orland, all he wants to shoot towards the far sideline. Brilliantly weighted throw to Richard Kindgren. He's going to make it five nil. The Rainbow Warriors are rocking and rolling here. They absolutely are. And beers, the beers haven't really had much of a look in. We did talk about the fact that they've got some uh, players who are helping them make up the numbers here at this tournament. Of course, unlike the European Beach Ultimate Club Championships, we've got the same minimum size of roster of 10 players strong. That's the minimum bodies you have to field in this loose mix format. Uh, but the maximum is not just 16, it's 20. So we could have some real crews out here on the beaches in Portimao. 
there are a couple of players in this game who maybe have a little bit more at stake than the others. I'm looking at Danny Erickson from the Rainbow Warriors and Paul Erickson from Biz, who are brothers. Ah. I do wonder how Paul Erickson ended up playing for uh, the Biz rather than Rainbow Warriors. A man from Orebro, I think. Yeah, over 40 years of playing experience. Also frequently seen around tournaments with a camera. And he's had two knee reconstructions. Of course, sand much forgive, much more of a forgiving surface, Benji. Yeah, it's one of the reasons why having this championship on beach makes a lot of sense. High stall again, trying to punt it downwind. But again, too strong. And there were a couple of Swedish defenders in the area as well. Uh, the intended target was Trey Paulison, but they couldn't get that connection. Yeah, he's uh, had a good go at that one. We'll talk about players with 30 years experience. Here's an another of those, originally from Carlsbad. Introduced to playing ultimate in El Paso. Going to ground, not a problem though to secure the catch. Lawrenson finds Anderson in the backfield. Nice churning undercut there. Jalovic, little floater, sneaking that one past. Good footwork required there from Danny Eriksson. And that one is a little bit of a riser that couldn't be reeled in there. Yeah, putting it on the sort of inside shoulder to try and avoid the defender, but just put a bit too much juice on it. Flying bid there from Danny Eriksson. Desperate to earn the disc back. Doesn't get there, though, but full commitment on defence. Here's Kubo. Still count rising, finds the reset of Paulison. Paulison's thinking about the deep shot and, oh, what a reception that is. Really good focus to get the first point on the board for Rainbow Warriors. Toru Yajima with the score. And a little game of pinball for one for the first goal for the Bears. The uh, Japan Airlines pilot clearly knows the skies very well. And a shout out to at home his two two corgi dogs. Very envious of that. I I, am a, I must admit, I'm a I'm a corgi fan. I've, I I'll have to confess something, Benji. My Instagram story is real. Like you know, you get the suggestions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And obviously, if you're a, a gentleman of a certain age, you get lots of uh, thirst traps, as one might lovingly refer to them. Nope, mine's wall to wall corgis. That's 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 good. I I appreciate that. Uh, his sporting hero is the great Japanese baseball player Ichiro Suzuki. A man who was masterful at getting just weak contact that he would find gaps through the infield with. And uh, yeah, not really known as a home run hitter, but a so lightning quick along the bases and a phenomenal defender as well. So you said some words there that I didn't really understand as not a fan of baseball, Benji. What would you liken him to in terms of ultimate? Who's his ultimate player equivalent? Oh, that's a good question. Someone who doesn't really hike it, but moves the disc well, is quick along the ground. Uh, it's a really lazy comparison to go straight for another Japanese player. I'll have a think about it. All right. Watch this space. Anger Gord into the centre to Carolina Hyabe. Hyabe wants to put that one, or it might be a little bit short. It's so tough to change direction on the sand. And Martin Heyer, but he couldn't make that up. Well, an opportunity for Beers to get one of the four breaks that they trail back. That one is just going to sneak through the grasp and give Rainbow Warriors the disc on the end zone line. And quickly punched in for the score. Yeah, there have been a few kind of more unforced errors coming out of the Bears team. We did talk about the fact that they've got some uh, connections they might want to be working on together. Because, of course, you know, th the eligibility criteria in this tournament, you have to be turning at least 48 this year if you're a male matching player and 45 if you're a female matching player. It's a loose mixed division. So you have to field, I think, it's two that you have to match up to in terms of 
female matching, but you can put as many as you like on. You can put a super mixed team together if you'd like. I once did that to a loose mixed tournament. Super mixed, of course, being where you have one male matching player and the rest is all female matching. But uh, yeah, maybe not having trained together so much because you've got to value your joints and your energy. But of course, a little bit of some teams enjoying the local Iberian Peninsula and having some secret spots to do their warming up yesterday, I saw on the Bula Instagram page. Finding some glorious caves and the like to do a bit of freestyling in. It's a spectacular part of the world, the, uh, the Atlantic coast here of Portugal, which I guess is all of the coast, but specifically in the Algarve. So that pool is going to land out of bounds and will be brought in from the brick mark by Ezra Levine. And we're on a bit more of a sheltered side being this far east. On the west coast, Benji, is obviously the big surf box. You've got the big old sandbar creating absolute ripper waves coming in to that part of the coast. Yeah, we went for a little excursion yesterday. Saw the, uh, saw the famous fort over at Sagarash. And we also found ourselves a nice little beach, the Praia de Benish, I think it was, to do a little bit of uh, lunching and relaxing. Indeed, you go to an isolated beach and find somebody set up a barbecue with sardines. <laughs> nice little bonus. On the sideline here, Nagiyama getting into a high stall, trying to find the inside window through. Jonas and Jakobsen was ready for it. Trying to move quickly, Orland to Matson. Looking at the end zone, taking the reset off instead. Harriet Anderson. That one low through to no one in particular. That was very strange. Yeah, all in there getting a bit hasty. A uh, silver medal is from 2001 in Heilbronn. And a hello to your lovely three children at home. I'm sure are watching this stream. All of the Olland family. That one thrown right into the clutches of Matson, And Matson with a little flip off there to Anderson for the seven one half time lead. Oh, that's a, that's a bit of a, a, an unfortunate one there. Just get a, perhaps a bit of confusion. I mean, the way the Swedes are playing, I would want to throw them the Frisbee and be part of their team right now too. It's, it's going well for them, I'd say. Indeed, a, a great way to open up the tournament if you are a fan of Swedish Ultimate, of course. Beers having a bit of a struggle there. It's not so much what the obvious thing that you might expect from seeing a Japanese team play a Swedish team. Because, of course, the Swedes are known for being quite limmy and tall. Yes, very much so. But actually, out here on the sand, they seem fairly well matched in terms of statures. When I think about Sweden versus Japan, and apologies to Japanese Ultimate fans, my mind goes back to uh, WGC 2012 in Sakai, Japan when in the quarterfinals, these two sides matched up, quarterfinals of the Open Division, that is, in an ex extremely windy affair, and the Swedes had the very clever strategy of uh, Huck and D. Well, when you've got the conditions, it is sometimes you have to devolve to just playing for yards. And you, you can't teach at all. And there's no shame in it, really. You know, sometimes you've got to take what you're given. A win's a win. Beers receiving to begin the second half. Indeed, and there are timed halves, it turns out, Benji. I had, we didn't get to any timed halves yes, in the last tournament. There were, the games were so efficient. But at 25 minutes through the, these 45 minute long games, there will be a timed half if the teams do find the, the match of each other and things start to drag. Dished off there, looking downfield for an option. Past the bidding defender. Good reception there made, going to the ground by Dorf. Moving the disc with a little bit of rhythm now, but maybe put the mockers on them because it slips through the clutches of Yamamoto. Did all the hard work and the disc just poked its way through. Hayabi. Dijalovic. Eriksson now. Trying to get that up line cut, putting it out into space. And getting it to work as well. 
I must admit, I can't quite see this side of the end zone because it's blocked by the tent. Well, that looks to indeed have been Jonathan Jakobsen grinding that up line cut between two defenders. It's a Jakobsen sandwich for the goal. And another point on the board for Rainbow Warriors as they just start to put a bit of cruise control on. But really, it is all about these areas for the beers. They are just straight up dropping the frisbee, Benji. Yeah, maybe you wonder if it's the first, just, you know, first game, just familiarizing yourself with the sand a little bit. Certainly it's, uh, even if even as you practice, it is slightly different when you go from from game mode to out of practice mode. Defense maybe is just that little bit tighter because in a practice you don't necessarily want to go A, full hog and injure yourself, or B, you know, accidentally injure your teammates. And there's still plenty of tournament left to play. This, of course, still pool stages. A matchup in pool A, if I understand it correctly. Yeah, an expanded, uh, expanded team list this time as well. 16 teams. As opposed to the... Uh, uh, I'm trying to remember how many we had last year. Maybe 12? Well, we'll have to uh, bring you that information as we have it, as they say. Brought in at the brick mark. And looking for the deep shot. Good read immediately, the tip, but very good recovery. Stayed with it there, did the defender, Jakob Viberi. And another attempt of this Japanese club side denied. So, of course, as we say, this is indeed Pool A in front of us. They're also joined alongside Team America and Pushing Daisies, both North Americans. Plenty of North American clubs here, Benji. Yeah, America, the reigning champions in this event from just over a year ago. It plays at the very end of September. But in the power pools, because of the slightly reduced number of teams compared to some championships, you do have the ability to try and carry yourself back to the top if you get underseeded here. Yeah, it gives a nice little uh, chance for teams that find their range slightly later on to get things to go. And finding the range there, a brilliant put from Anderson, is going to give Jakob Vibri a beautiful bookend. Well, he says, look out for his speed and not letting his opponent touch the disc, just everybody. And he, uh, yep, pretty much is displaying that this fine morning. And has represented Sweden at the Great Grandmasters, but also the Grandmasters division. And his, so his highlight so far, before, of course, coming to the lovely, wonderful Portimao, playing on the Playa de Rocha, was playing the Nordic Championship without any subs. Going Iron Man. Yikes. So just doing a little bit of, of digging into this. Uh, the team name is a tribute to the people and organizations that work for peace, equal rights, and environmental awareness. They wear the road that they, uh, shall I put my teeth back in? Yes. They wear the logos of the Rainbow Warrior, the LGBTQIA plus community, UNEP, and the peace sign. And you may be able to spot the various bits of detailing on the Rainbow Warriors jersey. Indeed, the UNEP, of course, standing for the United Nations Environment Programme. Beers back on offence here. Here's Paul Erickson. Proud Ulti TV patron. It's that one just a little bit out of reach there for Meredith. Already trying to get the disc moving quickly after the turn. Podolski goes to the ground. Little dish off there from Jakobsen. Striking into the end zone. Martin Hayabi gets that right on the money to Albin Viberi, and that'll be 10 1. This Rainbow Warriors side look like they've got a point to prove, don't they? Oh, absolutely. Well, we saw it with the eventual champions, spoiler alert, of the mixed division at EBUCC. So if you've not watched it, p plug your ears for a second. Quayota, their first stream game, 
many days ago now. It feels like such a long time, but of course, in reality, it's a short time. They came out and they played against peer pressure, if I recall. And peer pressure, they were missing some of their female matching players. They were, you know, a little bit perhaps on the back foot. And Hoyota just came out, absolute business, and demolished them. Yeah, they were ruthless. On stream, they did. Um, which is a little bit what's happening to, to the beers right now. They're getting... Uh, so certainly, Rainbow Warriors have their number for sure, but it's that sort of, you know, that mindset, that mentality of coming out and just being like, you know what? No, we're just going to come out, play properly, play our game, and earn themselves a very nice big break. Nice time to, you know, just rest the legs, roll things out, you know, perhaps some team sports massages, keep things oiled and moving. But that's the way to start off the tournament. Strong. Obviously, try not to peak too soon. I think it's also one of those things where the Rainbow Warriors obviously have all played together for many, many years. But for Beers, as you mentioned, a bit more uh, kind of maybe late recruitment coming in and players from who haven't had as much time on the sands together. And those kind of misconnections, they really do show up when you play, when you play against a team that is so in sync. Because that one just off the hands of Cho in that sort of game so far for the Beers. But we're not over yet, of course. But quick strike. They're so ruthless after the turn. Josef Viveri for the score. Yeah, it's a good point you make about sort of the, the different preparations of these teams going into this championship, Benji. And certainly the Beers are bottom seed in this pool A. And second seed, of course, are the Rainbow Warriors, as we already mentioned. Murka are the top seed and pushing daisies from Canada in third slot. Of course, it was a, a wonderful live draw format. To I think the top seeds were decided already for these live draws that Bula did. Kept things very exciting. But the Beers, I think, probably are happy to be here and see how far they can go. As you say, there is that redemption opportunity in power pools. The just top got, sorry, just going to say you got a nice little shot of Stefan Angergaard on the sideline. Indeed, in this very fetching kit. Yeah, patriarch of the of the Anger Gord family. You may have seen his uh, his young ones, Alva and Jonathan, representing at EBUCC and also out at EUCF as well. They are honestly phenomenal talents. Well, when you've got such decorated veterans as your parents, how can you not? And that sneaking through defensive bid from Jakobsen. That is really good awareness, knowing to come out of that spot and gamble on the block. Across the end zone, and it is a bookend as well for Jonathan Jakobsen that'll take the Rainbow Warriors within one of victory. Yeah, a nice find from Mattison. And <laughs> I don't know if it'll have been picked up, but we just heard Christoph Dernhardt to say, uh, I'm going to take this rare opportunity to call the power line. So we're going to see the power line of the beers. I love the, uh, I don't want to say sense of humor, that feels a bit harsh, but the, uh, yeah, the wry smile he said that with, knowing that, look, the game's not going our way. Is that going to stop us enjoying ourselves? Certainly not. Um, and why would it, you know? You're on the sand in Portugal, the sun's kind of peeking through the clouds, it's still relatively warm out here. Where else would you rather be? Oh, I can't think of really anywhere I'd rather be right now, Benji. It's a 23 kilometre an hour wind at the top gusts. Just keeping things interesting. We talk about a thrower's wind, and in the Great Grand Master's Division, I think anything below 15 kilometres an hour is just tragic, because it doesn't really show off how good these players are at throwing against the conditions. If I may quote the esteemed philosopher Flash, you don't need to run, you've got 14 handlers. Just playing it calm around the backfield. Taking the swing. This zone that uh, Rainbow Warriors have played in the last few points has generated turns, but at the moment, the beers seem like they might have cracked the code. Well, perhaps as the Swedes are one shy of taking this game to point cap, not quite a tasty breakfast bagel. This is 
more of a, uh, a pastel than indeed. <laughs> indeed. But perhaps finding a bit of rhythm. The foul called there, as perhaps getting a bit too hungry is Danny Eriksson. And accepted immediately. Yeah, Rick Dorf. Gave us the very handy pronunciation guide that his name rhymes with pick, which is definitely not going to cause any confusion at certain points. Here's Noda. Shinichi Noda looking deep, is blading over the top, but didn't quite get enough elevation to take it past Hayobi. Yeah, a nice idea, but not quite the execution he drew up in his mind. So not the first time we've seen those hucks trying to lead the receiver over to the break side. Right idea, but the Swedes putting that length to good use. And Hayabi down the far sideline, pings it in there. Brilliant offense after the turn into Danny Eriksson. And that is game. Well, the final goal going to the artistic director and actor from Stockholm. And the Rainbow Warriors coming out and it's showing exactly how they mean business watch out america you guys will be playing them in tomorrow morning's pool slot game for this pool a yeah that's going to be a tasty encounter isn't it oh yes i'm really looking forward to that one and of course the Result, I believe, between the pool teams at this stage, Benji, does cow carry across to power pool play, it as does one indeed. would expect it to. But we might be delighted to uh, that game twice. Who knows? We've seen it in the European Beach Championships, but a few days ago, a couple of rematches, maybe. Maybe one that went quite interestingly in the Open final as well. Yes, very much. No spoilers, but of course, as was always the case with OTTV, all of our games are available for free, live and on demand on our YouTube channel, and if that is something that you want to support, and I must admit, cards on the table, obviously I do because I'm here, but I am also a patron as well, as I believe you are too. I am indeed, Benji. So for as little as uh, Master's Age, what do, what do people at great, great, great grandmaster's age drink? I think it's still coffee and beer, to be honest. Fair enough. For it's just, just higher volumes of both. Yeah, maybe higher quality as well. Oh, yeah. So uh, for as little as one of those a month, you can help Ulti TV bring free live ultimates to the people and it's wonderful to be able to use that to cover tournaments like this that otherwise probably might go a little bit unloved and unnoticed so patreon.com slash TV is how you can go and sign up with more information on our website which is understandably ulti.tv and of course if you are perhaps one of the youth one of the younger people watching this stream and maybe you, you know you don't have quite the same coffee and uh, beer budget that some of the athletes out here on the sand do there's something you can do that's super easy that costs you precisely zero pence. It may be a couple of micro joules of energy. Is of course, hit like and subscribe. If you like all of our, our videos and you can subscribe to our channel, it helps push us through the YouTube algorithms that be to spread ultimate amongst the world. Yeah, so as the teams do their little post-game spirit circle and great spirit throughout, I think very few calls and the one that was was instantly resolved, which is something that you like to see. So we're going to have a look and see if we can uh, maybe spin the camera around as this one got wrapped up nice and quickly. Oh, well, that would be very exciting. On field two at the moment, we have the other game from Pool A, which is actually America versus Pushing Daisies. So it's currently at five apiece, would you believe it? So bonus coverage. Tell you what, patrons getting value for money right now. We're too good to you. That looks actually, if I recognize the jerseys, and I'm going to say that I do recognize, I think that looks to me like Young Legends versus West Coast. Oh, of course. Sorry, there pitch you go. Two's over, yep. over behind. Behind the stands. There we go. Looking over your shoulder, getting too hasty there, Benji. Yeah, Young Legends taking home the silver medal last time out. And uh, obviously looking to get things off with a win here. Yep, so that's actually. Pool B, seed one. So the first, who did you say it was against, Benji? Uh, they are up against uh, uh, West Coast. So that's seed three in Pool B. So we weren't expecting to get any look at Young Legends until tomorrow morning's games. But, you know, we've got, we've got, we've got a little bit of time on our hands and, and we're enjoying it. So, uh, 
you know, why not? Joe Cole, why not? Oh, a deep shot's gone up. It's Spoot Lucia. And it's on the money for Young Legends. I might see if I can quickly whack this game do you, into Do you think well. that's uh, that's perhaps, Benji, a reference to the Legends division that only exists in North America? So my instinct is that, that the team was formed even before the Legends division existed. They just, they just, as a lot of teams in this division do, clearly have a, uh, a good sense of humour about the whole thing. There's Litzia manning the, uh, or utilising the, uh, the high view cam to full effect there. Well, we're bringing you all of the, uh, all of the information as we receive it. Um, <laughs> and we believe it's actually 10-5. So that. evidently something got lost in translation somewhere. But it's wonderful to be here in Portimao. As you can see, the further fields there, apart from field two, as we say, which is actually behind the, the seating of our arena field. Not a field, but a pitch, a sand pitch. Yes, I know. We've been, we've been conditioned by, by those from across the pond, I think. There we go, graphics and everything. How good are we? And how good are we to you, viewers? We're so humble as well. That's that's the most important thing. <laughs> <laughs> Cheeky little high release backhand through that inside window, and then too low for the laying out receiver. Trying to find uh, Spongberg. Oh. A sideline cam through fences, through our little commentary pavilion. Got a shot of us there. And thank you very much to uh, Look Fly VC for our fetching pink commentary and me what we called Marvelous Media. Marvelous Media jerseys is the official title. Yeah, they provided all the uh, tournament swag for EBUCC. And a, a little tip, if you're organising your own tournament and getting stash from a different provider, we recommend these have all got numbers on the back of them, which makes it much easier to figure out... Who's is who. Exactly. Especially when you launder them halfway through the week. Thank you very much to Sheila for sorting that out for us. Big ups to all of our staff and volunteers here in Portimao making these events happen and keeping us smelling palatable. Jens Achenbach. Finds Herma King. Young Legends just calmly playing it outside the end zone. Don't look like they're in any particular rush to score. But Vital seems to find that little window through to Herma King for the 11-5 uh, lead. Well, a fantastic effort from the bid to try and prevent the score from Audrey Menzies. Yeah, Menezes actually oh, Menezes over only been playing for a couple of years. Indeed. Recruited from basketball as the original sport. Good crossover. Field hockey as well. Another fantastic crossover sport for ultimate athletes, would field, you believe? Field hockey athletes are nuts because <laughs> I don't know if you've ever played hockey. That ball's really hard. I have. I have. And it's also the thing of it's not just avoiding the ball, it's also avoiding the sticks from the other players. Oh, no, I, did, I didn't mean to hit you with my stick. Oh. <coughs> But uh, the hero of Audrey Menezes is actually Melanie on the team, who's a uh, cancer survivor. She beat the big C. Congratulations. And throughout her whole fight, she never complained, always showed up to practice, being captain to the team and showing up no matter what. She's got a great, great attitude and is always encouraging others. So massive shout out to Melanie. So West Coast trying to reduce this young legends deficit. 
Puck deep and reeled in. No, off the fingertips and good second attempt made there by by Charmaine Shackleton Godinho. Now that's a, a fantastic name, isn't it? Just. Here's the deep look for young legends and the layout from Kolstad very nearly got there. It's kind of weird commentating a game that's behind us and we have no eyes on. Well, thankfully, much like the viewers, we have this fantastic camera work from Lucia. Right, and we also have, uh, you know, the phenomenal crew who were like, ah, well, let's, well, sure, we're film more ultimate, why not? And also massive big ups to Chips, who is uh, filming between fences and tents and flags. Milan, don't you dare walk in front of Chips. Carrying a large spirit of the game Bula flag. It says be fair minded. Indeed, very important. That one a little bit floaty. Knocked to the floor. Picking up on the end zone line is Schmidt. And just a little pop in to the end zone for the score. Young Legends, one away from the win. Speaking of spirit of the game flags, can you uh, name any, without looking around the uh, complex here, Benji, can you name any of the other elements that are on the flags? Communicate respectfully. Mm -hmm. We've done be fair-minded. Uh, avoid contact. Yep. I'm just trying to remember how they're specifically all phrased. Uh, know the rules? Yeah. You got one more. I know. I can, I find if it helps, it's the one with the love heart. Yeah, I know, but I'm just trying to think how exactly. The, so the official category name is uh, positive attitude and self-control. So uh, be positive, I guess, maybe? It's enjoy playing. Enjoy playing. You were four for five, though. That's pretty good. Thank you. I've, remarkably, turns out having reasonable powers of observation is helpful. <laughs> oh, there's a beautiful shot of the Atlantic Ocean over to our right-hand side. Yeah, not quite the dazzling sun-dappled scenes we saw earlier, and the weather might, might be pretty bad. So if you want to do some sun salutes for us, of course, you know, ease all those aching, creaking joints as you don't get to run around on the sand here in Portimao, please feel free to do that, or just, just simply try and blow the clouds past us. That'd be great. I'll be honest, at times it has been a little warm for me, so I might have asked for a a bit of a downturn in temperatures, so I apologise. We also do have rain forecast for the rest of the weekend, maybe even thunderstorms on finals day on Saturday. So uh, we'll keep an eye on those, and if there are any changes to the schedule, we will, of course, update you. And we do, of course, indeed have that lighter schedule, which means that Reece moving games around to avoid the rain is a very doable thing. But, of course, uh, if you wanted to call the climbs, Benji, thunderstorms is nature's air conditioning, so it's all your fault. I apologise. We can't blame Tom Styles. He's no longer here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's never stopped me before. He does have a rap about it. That shot to the far sideline from Herma King is well defended. Enough pressure on that one from West Coast, which, as well as you know, the Swedish contingent, bring a little bit of Indian flavour over. This one is shot deep, coming out of the end zone to receive it, and then popping it in. Heads thrown into the end zone for the score. Uh, it looks like Menezes making it a 12-6. I can count. It is indeed Menezes. Mentioned already that she's a recruit from basketball. She's only been playing for two years before COVID. And she also is a, a single mother of a six foot three basketball player herself. So clearly the, taking over the, the, the reins of the family sport, but maybe ultimate can become the new family sport. I hear six foot three ultimate players uh, do pretty well it's, for themselves. It's a handy thing to have. Yeah, uh, ultimate crazy. Sometimes we'll even cancel work meetings to go and play, which you know what, well, I'm, I'm, I'm all in favor for. The, all this despite, as we mentioned, only playing for a couple of years before the pandemic and was also uh, out in Wrocław earlier this year playing for Amoeba in the uh, European Masters Ultimate Club Championships. Indeed. And the ability to cancel work meets, of course, is uh, because she's a very successful businesswoman. She, is a, she has a realty company or property company, if you're not from North America, in India, in Goa. But, of course, many Ultimate players are very intelligent, very successful people. 
We've got one on the end zone line here for Hertel. And it's just going to be popped in to Colstadt for the young legend 13-6 victory. Well, the last goal collected by the man who fell in love with the sport the first time he saw a flying disc as a <laughs> player flies behind our production booth, keeping all of our production staff warm, apart from those hard at work on our cameras. Thank you so much to Chips and Lucia for keeping the coverage going and giving us some bonus content from the game behind. Yeah, we're going to give you uh, some, some replays from the... Uh, the well, officially broadcast game. Yes, Rainbow Warriors versus the Beers. And during the meantime, I think the Beers sounds like not a bad idea, to be honest. It's Roger not that. too early, right? Oh, never too early. It's five o'clock somewhere, Benji. Yeah, somewhere afternoon always, I think a very wise coach said at uh, the World Ultimate Club Championships. So we're going to take a little bit of a breather. Don't worry, because we will be back with you in just under 45 minutes time. 11 o'clock local. Team Finland, uh, bronze medalist last time out, take on Canada's best before. In the meantime, for all of us here at Ulti TV, we'll see you on the other side. stuff on the front corner of the end zone. Maybe well. just that boost of energy they needed. The ultimate things in life are free, and we're keeping it that way. Subscribe to keep up with the latest games, tournaments, and community content. Share it with your team and friends, and drop a like to help spread ultimate to more people. Spread the word, spread the love. Okay, back to you.
We believe mixed is the best for the sport, for the world. That's why we're making a global showcase, starting in Europe, made in Amsterdam. Ultiveek. Ultiveek.net. on the move? You can keep up to date with Ulti TV on all of our social media channels. Like, follow, subscribe, share us with a friend or send us a message just to say hey. Thank you for supporting us in our mission to grow ultimate everywhere. Don't want to miss anything? There are loads of tournaments happening, which you can attend either as a player or a spectator. You can find them on UltiCal, link in the description. So long.